Hi Libra, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm starting your wait reading now. For August 7th to the 31st, this is intended to be a love reading. We're going to see what comes up for you, Libra. Thank you to all my supporters. I appreciate all your support. What do you have for love for Libra? Ooh, oh, beautiful. It's definitely what I wanted to see. Your wishes could be fulfilled. Jeez, um. Oh, a new offer of love. Oh, yay. I have to bring these up just a little so I can get plenty. Alright, so, so far we have that your wishes could be fulfilled. I see that you've been doing a lot of healing on your own. We've talked about this before. You have a new offer. It looks like you have a new offer of love if you're already coupled up. Maybe your relationship is going to step it up a notch. Could be with a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. It's probably something that you have been waiting for and um, the movement, there's been delays and you've just been waiting and waiting and waiting and finally you might be receiving some communication from this person. Now this is the 7th through the oh, uh, 10th, 12th. You might receive some communication. Now the timing could be off because everybody's different. This may or may not resonate with everybody because like I just said, everybody's different. But I think that you have been manifesting this because you have not given up. I think that's what this is. Here's, here is where you have used your inner power, you know, your mind, body, spirit to manifest something. And, um, you know, now, you know, it's like cause and effect. That's what manif manifestation is. So here, down here, we have the Empress. Um, and this is your beautiful soul. Okay, I think that you have worked on your soul. I think you've done some soul searching, which has caused you to do some serious healing. And um, I think that this person that's offering you love can see your beautiful soul. Um, and I think, you know, when it does happen, they finally come to you. It could happen very, very quickly. All right. They could come to you like out of the blue. Um, and it could be real love, all right, because these are also the rods of love, and this is love. So it could really, really be love for you. And it is, it's like a, a, a dream come true, because I think you've seriously been wishing for this. Wow. Looks really good. So it looks like, you know, this is a new partnership, but this is a new sexual partner. And I think, like, again, I think it's something that you have been waiting for. I think there's been delays with this person. You might know who it is, Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. Um, but it looks like things are finally coming to fruition, you know. It looks like finally there's, there's, it's going to happen and there's going to be harmony in the relationship. Um... I think that your past efforts are might finally be rewarded, okay? Yeah. You've definitely been hurt, that's for damn sure. Okay? So you've been really really hurt and um that's when you've been waiting and you've just been hurting and hurting and hurting. But I I I think that the hurt might start to disappear, okay? The hurt might start to disappear because you might be getting this offer of love. Um, here we have the strength card. This is about your inner strength. This Again, uh, mind, uh, one, mind, body, and spirit. You have that twice now. It looks like you have really seriously been soul searching and healing and working on yourself and... I think that you have been healing in every which way, inside and outside. I think that you have becoming more physically fit. I think that you have been taking care of yourself. I think that you have been ascending spiritually. I mean, like I said, mind, body, and spirit. I think that you have really completely worked on yourself for a period of time. 
um, and I think that your confidence has come back up and your your um, oh your physical presence is vibrating very high okay here we have a fire sign um, Aries Leo Sagittarius but it's also a very lusty energy so I see there's a lot of sexual passion and sexual energy with this person right here a lot a lot so um, Capricorn Taurus Virgo or somebody who has a lot of earth in their chart okay um, and it just feels great great I mean there's a lot of passion a lot um, <laughs> Here we have the Two of Wands. This is about the fork in the road. This is about making a decision on where to spend your energy. Where to expend your energy. Do you expend your energy on past hurt? Or do you expend your energy on confidence and strength and courage and um, surrendering and letting go? I mean, where, what's it going to be? Do you, do you expend your energy in this direction, which is beautiful, all positive, or do you expend it in this direction? Okay, here, maybe, you know, there, there's a lot of hurt right here. And there's, like, sex right here. And this is, you know, a challenge. So maybe this, you know, take that as you want. So maybe, you know, you're hurt over a challenge regarding sex with another person. I mean, I'm just saying. I don't know. Um, maybe you're hurt over um, a partnership um, that was challenging, doesn't even have to deal with sex, you know, that was very passionate, you thought it was passionate, and it was very, very, very challenging, and um, you need to get over it, you need to get over it, but just, so anyway, do you focus over here, or do you focus over here, this is what this card says, you need to make a decision, okay, and you need to make the decision quick, quick, because this offer of love is here now, okay, this is being recorded on the 7th, of August and this is about you reaching your clarity reaching your truth okay finally getting the answer that you seek problem is you have to come out of your shell you do have to come out of your shell now we have a Virgo but I think this is you hiding hiding from the hurt you know you just like oh my god I'm not sure if I can even I, I, I can't I don't I don't know your heart is so uh, fragile okay at this time it's fragile so it's like well I'm not sure what I can even handle at this time so you're hiding in your shell all right not really giving the person that's offering you love the attention they need because you're so scared We're just going to get some clarifiers with this deck. Yes, it is an offer of love. Absolutely. Oh, wow. Holy camoly. Look at all the people. Wow. We got three kings here in a night. So this down here is you. Okay, so we'll just knock that one right out. This is a king or a queen. And it's you hiding in your shell, being scared. You know, and all you want is peace and harmony in your life. And you perhaps have been burying yourself in your work to get through these challenges, okay? We have this new offer of love coming in, probably from this Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo towards you. <coughs> and this is saying that you need to act now. Act now. Okay, don't just... Let you have to. I know there's been heartbreak in the past. There's been heartbreak and a really big loss. But this is saying don't don't hold back and be stubborn. Okay. This is do something about it. This is act now. Have confidence. Have have courage and think positive thoughts. Okay. Move forward. Act 
Now, when this person comes towards you, react. Do not hide. You do not hide from it because of past hurt. We're going to get three cards from this deck. Your wishes are definitely about to be fulfilled. Congratulations. Whew. <laughs> but of course, you're still trapped. You're still trapped in your own emotions. You are. You're still trapped in your own heartbreak. That's what it is. An illusion of being trapped. A lack of self-confidence. Afraid to take action. This card is here to tell you to take action. Take action. The first sign of love. Take action. Take action. Page of Cups. Uh, more love. It's the same. It's love, 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 love. Finally. Congratulations, Libra. I am so happy for you. A new person enters your life. It doesn't have to be a new person. It can be the same person with a clean slate. Okay? A relationship begins a new phase. Heightened psychic abilities. This is a relationship begins a new phase. Or it's a new person. Either one. Somebody is coming in and it is, they're going to bring harmony and balance to your life. We're going to get, uh, wherever my angel cards are, we're going to get three of these. What do you have for Libra? August 7th through the 31st. Well, there they are, on the floor. <laughs> In exactly three. Imagine that. Okay, separation, attraction, let your friends help you. <laughs> and you know what the separation is? I bet you do. It's from your heartache. The separation is from your past heartache. Whatever is holding you back from acting or accepting or trusting, you need to let it go. Simple as that. Somehow you need to let it go. Attraction. This is what you're doing right now. I think that you are like beautiful. Okay. Inside and out. Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. This card tells me that you are really working on yourself. Big time. Big time. Now, this new person coming in could be a fire sign or a um, earth sign. Or a water sign, okay? Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept help from others. Okay? Maybe if you have not met this person yet, maybe you need maybe you're gonna meet them through one of your friends. That's what this tells me. Maybe it's through, you know, a friend of a friend of a friend, maybe it's a party, maybe as you go eyes go out, whatnot. Okay? Let your friends help you. That's what this card says. Because you're, you might meet this person or come face to face with them again if it's somebody from your past through one of your friends. Or if you, they might be able to help you with this heartache. You know, let them help you. Alright, I got this new deck. I'm going to give you one card. I'm going to have to read from the book because it's still new to me. Vintage Wisdom Oracle. This turned out very good for the re other readings, so uh, I think I'm going to keep doing it. What do you have for Libra? I think that's the one, don't you? Oh, transition. Somebody else had this. I think it was Taurus. Okay. The presence of this card indicates change in a transition between two chapters of life, inevitable endings and new beginnings. All right. I'm going to put it down. 
so that I can read this better. Um, inevitable endings and new beginnings and the integration of a more expanded cycle involve letting go of the past to make way for new growth and transformation. We already talked about this. Whether challenging or welcome, the open door of transition is inescapable. This card invites you to trust in the greater plan and move forward in the spirit of love and hope. Be honest about old ways of life that no longer serve your highest potential and concentrate on what you need to be and what you need to be balanced, vitalized and connected to your spiritual center. It's time for a major transition. Libra, you guys deserve it. Um yeah, so that's what I have. Thank you so much. Um, I will talk to you soon.